Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Kali Linux version 2024.1 on VMware. For those that don't know VMware, VMware is the tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer. Now the first thing we have to do is download VMware. So let's head to our browser and then search for VMware. Click on the first link that heads to VMware.com. Next, we click on products and then under products, click on workstation player. Now click on download for free. Now click on go to downloads right here. And you should find VMware for Linux and for Windows. Since we're using a Windows operating system, then we should download now for Windows. And it should start downloading. After downloading VMware, we also have to download Kali Linux installation file. So let's head to Kali.org. And then click on download now click on installer images and then click on kali linux 2024.1 installer 64 bits to download after downloading kali linux and vmware we can close our browser and then open our download folder so here we go this is vmware and this is kali linux 2024.1 installer file so let's install vmware by double clicking on it next accept the terms next 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 and then install now click on finish and then let's run vmware from our desktop now click on continue to use vmware for free finish First, we have to create a new virtual machine. So click on create a new virtual machine. Now click on installer disk image file and then browse. Select our Kali Linux installer file we downloaded earlier. And then click on next. Set the guest operating system to Linux. And then set the version to other Linux 6.x kernel 64 bits. And then next set the virtual machine name to whatever you want i'm just going to call this kali linux 2024.1 next now set the disk size i'm going to give this 40 gigabytes now you should allocate more than what you have to your virtual machine so you can see i have 57 gigs of free storage on my pc on my c drive which i am going to allocate around 40 gig to kali linux so make sure you allocate within what you have and then next customize hardware now this is your ram which you can increase to whatever you want i'm going to give it 4 gigs of ram since i have 12 gigs on my pc i'm also going to set the processor cost to 3 since i can run up to 8 now you shouldn't give more than 40 percent of your ram or processor to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer now click on close and then click on finish now click on the play button to begin the installation. Hit enter to proceed with graphical install. Set a language for the installation and continue. Set your country and region, continue. Your keyboard layout, continue. Now you can set the host name to whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it at Kali. Continue. Set the domain name if you have any or just leave it empty and continue. Set the full name for this machine. Continue. Set the username for your machine as well. Continue and then set a password. Continue. Now set your time zone and continue. Let's go with guided use entire disk. So it is going to run the partition in by itself. Select the disk right here, which we allocated earlier. Continue. All files in one partition. Continue. Finish changes.
finish partitioning and write changes to the disk continue select yes to allow this to write changes to the disk and then continue now it should take a while to install the base system then we can select our desktop environment and begin the actual installation Now select the desktop environment you prefer. We can go with the default which is XFace or we go with GNOME or KDE Plasma. I'm just going to continue with XFace. Just tick it and then continue. And it should start installing. This should take a while but you just have to wait. And we are done with the installation. Now click on continue to reboot. You can now log in with the username and password we used to set up the account. So basically, this is how to install the latest version of Kali Linux version 2024.1 on VMware. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.